Hello. So um, yesterday we had a really good talk from Hendrik, um, uh, and he mentioned uh, the four color theorem, which is um, an amazing theorem, um, uh, which it shows that you, you, given any uh, map, you can always color it in with four colors. Um, or as I put it, you only need four felt tips to color in a map. And if you try this, it's pretty easy to figure out that it's true. And someone did that in 1852, and it took us uh, until uh, arguably 1976 to prove it, although there was a mistake. Um, but it was kind of a minor mistake, so really it was kind of done then, but it was, it was correctly proved in 1989. This is one of the sort of crowning achievements of mathematics in the 20th century or, or ever. It's incredible. Um, there were 400 pages to prove one half of it, and the other half was proved by checking 1,834 individual cases on a computer, which makes it kind of uniquely modern. That's incredibly, that's amazing, but it's also quite unsatisfying. Um, but yeah, we don't want to do, uh, do that. That's, that's too easy. Uh, anyone can color in a map with four colors. I'm going to prove that you can color in a map with five colors. Um, yeah, so you only need five felt tips to color in a map. Um, the amazing thing about the five color theorem is that the whole thing fits on, on one A4 page, if you, you write it uh, small enough. And uh, so, I, so I'm going to skip, well, it's, no, honestly, it's like, it's a page's worth of proof. Um, it uses proof by induction, uh, which, is, which is an incredible, um, powerful and simple mathematical technique uh, that, that is really straightforward and well accepted, but if I tried to explain it to you now and you didn't already believe it, you would burn me as a witch, because it really seems like it doesn't work, but it does. Um, so I'm not going to talk about induction. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you through the kind of last step in this proof, which is the really cool bit, because you just look at a map and kind of figure out that it must be true. So. The last step in this proof, the, the inductive step, um, involves us um, proving something about a, a map that looks a bit like this. So, um, in particular, so you can see that if, if, it's, if we were just looking at this map, you, you can see you could color that in with four colors. So you need to imagine that this is part of a larger map, and there's all kinds of other countries all, all around, which means that we need six colors to color in this map. So what we're doing here is, in order to prove our theorem, quite a common technique is you assume that it's not true, and then you show that that doesn't make sense. So what we're doing here is saying, this map, which, with all the countries around, and this bit, it needs six colors to color it in. Um, uh, uh, and then we're going to show that that doesn't make any sense. So what we've done is we've got this U, which is, uh, which is next to all these other um, pieces, and they all need to be different colors, and therefore you needs to be a, di a different color again. So the way this works is, you, and like I said, you just kind of look at it and figure it out. So the first question is, why do one and three need to be different colors from each other? And the answer must be that there is an unbroken chain of countries of alternating colors going around uh, from one to three. Otherwise, if, the, if there wasn't a chain like that somewhere in this map, you could swap the color of three and all the ones in, in the chain coming out from it, so that three is also green like one, and then you could make U purple, and you'd have you've colored in the map using only five colors. So there must be, so if you, if you look at that for long enough, hopefully you'll agree that there must be a chain of countries from one to three, and um, you're just going to believe me. Um, so once you've got that chain, the question then becomes, why are two and four different colors? So by exactly the same reasoning, there must be an unbroken chain of uh, red and cyan countries from two to four, um, but there can't be, because this is a map, and countries can't jump over other countries and still touch each other, because the chain from one to three is already there. That's why this is a planar graph uh, in graph theory terminology. Um, so that it can't be the case. Therefore, you could swap the color of four and any chain coming out of it. Use the color that you had on four in U, color in the map with five colors. So we were wrong to say you needed six colors, which is a contradiction. Q 
QED.